you're an expert. Mm -hmm. right? You can recognize that digit. Yeah. What is it? One. It's a thumb. Why is it? It's a thumb. Now, if I say one. Because it looks roughly how I would draw it. That's not really an explanation, is it? <laughs> Explain to me what is it about this that makes it a two? Well, it obviously gets harder to explain. Okay, but what's interesting is yeah. if you push people, they will start telling you what it is about this that makes a two. Mm -hmm. And I can show you twos that have none of the characteristics you'll say makes this a two. Yeah. So the point is on normal everyday discrimination that you're an expert at, mm -hmm. you make the discrimination well. And if pushed, you will make up a story about how you did it. Right. And there's no difference between you and a radiologist. If pushed, they will make up a story about how they did it. But that's not how they did it. Mm -hmm. And so we already have systems that we're using that can't explain how they actually made the decision. They can cook up a story um, that's a story that other radiologists may agree with. Mm -hmm. But it's not how they actually make the decision. That's not how their perceptual systems do it. And all we're doing is saying, let's replace those with neural networks. Now, with neural networks, we can also do the same. We can get the neural networks to cook up a story. So you can get the neural network, you could train the neural network to come up with explanations and agree with other neural networks, mm -hmm. and the explanations don't have to be how it actually did it. So people are incredibly good at rationalizing. They will make up an explanation for anything. Yeah. And, and the, fa the fact that four out of five people might agree that's a two, no, everybody will agree. If, right. if they have to decide between <laughs> just, the ten digits, I'm an expert on digits. I'm, I know I'm, more about digits than anybody else <laughs> in this world. I'm, I'm just trying to make the case for potential inter-observer variability. Okay, right. the fact that everybody agrees that's a two doesn't provide you any insight into why it's a two. Right. And so the reality is, when you get, if that were something complex like diabetic retinopathy at a particular grade. The fact that most people, but not all people, would agree on it who are experts, they still can't tell you why it is what it is. In most cases, they'll have as just as a rationalization. Here are some of the things that so make it a two. Point to their degrees on the wall. Oh, well, or they may point to some list of criteria. Yeah. But when they look at it, it's a, it's a judgment. Right. And, and after a while, they'll tend to converge with each other, but only to a certain degree. So. It's, it makes much more sense to say, instead of get, getting all fussed about the non-transparency, to simply say, are the judgments more consistent? Mm -hmm. Are they, can they be refined to be more inclusive of a range of possibilities? And the answer is with deep learning, that's possible. 